Hate speech and counter-terrorism measures may be fueling a general rise in racism, xenophobia and discrimination in Australia, a UN committee says. Australian government officials were grilled in Geneva on Tuesday by the UN's Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, over a periodic report on our country's progress in tackling racism and disadvantage. It was Australia's first appearance before the committee since 2010. Varian Shepherd, the committee's rapporteur for Australia, welcomed our progress in adopting an anti-racism strategy appointing a race discrimination commissioner and bringing in new health and justice programs for indigenous people. However she voiced concern that hate speech and counter-terrorism measures were fueling racism, xenophobia, Islamophobia and ethnic-based discrimination in the country, according to notes on the meeting released by the committee on Tuesday evening. Ms Shepard said the Australian government needed to target the minority of Australians who do not want multiculturalism. Drive Tim South Farmacy, the Race Discrimination Commissioner, told the committee there were clear indications that racial intolerance and racial discrimination are on the rise in Australia. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. It is especially concerning that, as in many other countries, Extreme nationalist organisations have grown in prominence within public debates about race and immigration. Another committee expert, Guncut, asked what Australia was doing to counter negative trends such as racism in political discourse and targeting of migrants by far-right groups. Lachlan Stratton, the Department of Foreign Affairs First Assistant Secretary, told the committee that unfortunately, some Australians said repulsive things about racial issues but the majority rejected such ugly discourse, according to the committee notes. He said far-right parties were thankfully small and splintered even though sometimes they could be very loud. Racist language was called out and political leaders and courts were willing to take the right kind of action to defend diversity and tolerance, he said. The enemies of diversity were the enemies of democracy, he said. Shepard noted that the previous president of Australian Human Rights Commission, Gillian Triggs, had been vilified by senior officials and undermined financially. She was concerned by recent changes to the AHRC including the reduction of the time frame for people to make complaints. She also highlighted the increasing percentage of Indigenous women in prison, and expressed concern about the harsh living conditions in offshore detention centres. Shepard urged Australia to end its boat-to-back policy and offshore detention of asylum seekers. The Australian delegation defended Australia's policy on asylum seekers who arrived by boat, saying...